all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I am here in Ponytown to talk about Durgentown? That's right, today we're going to be talking about Durgentown and some news about it. Uh, now this news is coming um, to me directly uh, on April 2nd. I haven't made a video about it until now because I was trying to wait and see if it was some kind of April Fool's joke, but it seems as though Durgentown is shutting down. It is shutting down its servers and everything like that. It's going to be completely 100% shut down on April 15th. And uh, it's been a few days since I got that little message about it being shut down. And sure enough, there hasn't been any updates on whether or not that was an April Fool's joke or not. So I'm taking this very seriously as an actual thing that's happening. And uh, I honestly a little bit excited about that. Now, some of you may be confused as why I'm excited about the fact that Durgentown is shutting down. But I must remind you all of this Reddit post and um, this document that I'm going to show you in a moment talking about Durgentown. Now, this comes directly from Industrial Alice. They are the head developer of Ponytown itself. And of course, if you know anything about Durgentown, it is a Ponytown custom server, much like Ashes Town, uh, Sleepy Town, and all kinds of other town games and stuff like that. So this message here, of course, just talks about how since the release of custom servers over a half a year ago, this is like two and a half years ago at this point, basically, uh, a lot of developers expressed inter interest towards them. Examples include Ashes Town, who have been working hard on their game and managing to achieve a lot of success with their support, with Ponytown support. Pixel Horse, who have also created a default custom server upstream and have been helping people with their own servers without asking anything in return. Or even Sleepy Town, which was created as a platform for experimentation and even shared some features with developers and stuff like that with the rest of the developers of other custom servers and stuff like that. There was also, however, one significant exception, and that was Durgan Town. Durgan chose to use what we gave them, the developers gave them, uh, and they chose to use that against the developers of Ponytown and everyone else. They harassed the developers of Ponytown, deliberately spread false information about them, and stole from them. Now, with the announcement linked above, which is this document here, some of you may be familiar with this document, but it is basically talking about all the evidence and all the proof and stuff like that about everything you need to know about Durgentown and how uh, they've done all these things to Ponytown and stuff like that. They go into proper detail on it in that document, and they also wanted to make it clear that these aren't the ones that custom servers were created for. And after what they have been doing, Durgentown developers have no moral right to use any of their work. So uh, that is pretty much what that Reddit post said. And of course, if you click that link, it will bring you to this document, which shows you all the evidence and all this and this, this and that and whatever like that. It's a really nicely put together document. It even has audio files and stuff like that of actual conversations they had so it's kind of hard to to fake all this evidence and things like that but if you scroll through this this is all technically old news and uh, I will link this document in the description below if you guys want to read through it uh, there you can also press the card in the top right if you want to you know watch me go over it and stuff like that in a video uh, and stuff like that because this is this is old news today we're here talking about this announcement that Durgentown put out and this is sort of the uh, the finale of Durgentown it seems so they released this document here and it says Durgentown Durgentown update. Hello everyone, I want to share an update about Durgentown, the recent issues we've been experiencing, and the project's future. We started Durgentown over a year and a half ago, and we've had some great times and some not so great times. We've built up a fantastic community of players and friends, and we've had a lot of fun developing the game and creating a new experience for all. With that said, we've come to the difficult decision to put Durgentown on a hiatus for the foreseeable future. The final day you will be able to play with play with this game will be on Thursday, April 15th, 2021. That means the final day you will be able to log on, play the game, actually go on any, any of the servers will be on Thursday, April 15th of this year. After that, they're going on an indefinite hiatus, which could be years and years and years, if ever again. So they talk about more of the reasons why they've made this decision below. If you're not interested in any of that, you can stop reading here. In fact, you can stop watching this video completely here if you want to, but uh, it is quite interesting. And, it, and it's got it like, it's, it's hard for me to believe, but also not at the same time. Uh, it's hard to say because I don't really trust the developers of Durgentown that much. So take of it what you will, but they said the main reason we feel it's best to put Durgentown on hold for now is simply time. 
we're busy with real life responsibilities, com uh, commitments, and we don't have the free time required to develop, test, maintain, and ad administrate the site. I have a job, bills to pay, medical requirements, and a family to look after, which means I can't look or can't work on the project at this point. I don't really have the personal time, energy, or want to administrate the maintain uh, and maintain at Durgentown. The project has really burned me out. I'm also writing my thesis this year, leaving me with even less time and energy. Other more minor reasons include general burnout and the financial cost of running the service. We both have lots of ideas, features, and world expansions that we'd like to add to the game, but no real motivation or space to implement any of it due to spending most of our time working on real life obligations. With all of that out of the way, I'm sure there are many questions you will have. I'll try my best to answer them and the best to my ability in the FAQ below. So they go on to answer some of the questions. They say, what's going to happen to the Discord server? Because there is a Discord server. Uh, if we go to this little about page, there is a Discord server that you can go into and stuff like that. They, they asked, what, what happens to the Discord service? They answered, no idea. They'll probably give it to someone else and they can do whatever they like with it. Most likely it'll be turned in, this is my own theory about what will happen to it, but most likely the Discord server for Durgentown will be turned into more of a fan uh, server where they talk about the game and uh, stuff like that. Maybe still share some kind of community around it, but it's going to die out if we're being honest with ourselves because the game is gone. The game is dying. So uh, they ask, someone has asked them how long will the hiatus be? And they said, we don't have an exact date when we return, but it probably won't be soon, if ever. They said, I have an idea on how we can save Durgentown. Just do this thing. It's what one of the comments they got was. And they said, well, unless your dad is Jeff Bezos or you have a spare, whatever this is. I have no idea what this is. Uh, on Azure, it probably won't help. I, I don't know what this is right here. It's some kind of weird code thing, I'm, I'm assuming. But they also got the question, what about my characters and progress? They said that Durgentown will be completely offline for the duration of the hiatus, so if you have any designs you'd like to save, you'll need to download or screenshot them before the closure date. So uh, yeah, that's 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 it. That's the little announcement they have here. And like I said, I haven't gotten any update on whether or not this was an April Fool's joke. So far, it seems like a real serious thing, especially since if I actually try to sign in on Durgentown, I just get this every single time. I can't sign in, I can't sign up, I can't do any of that stuff. It just brings me to this every time. And that makes sense because they probably don't want you creating accounts and stuff like that because if you're creating accounts, it's just going to die out in like 10 days. So what's the point? So I imagine that's why this is happening to me. Um, so who knows? Uh, maybe I'm IP banned or something like that, even though I haven't played the game in like since... since like two years ago, probably. <laughs> I haven't played the game in a really long time, so that I could have been banned for that, or I could have been banned for, you know, making a video about the Durgentown announcement. Who knows? But uh, maybe that's why that's happening to me. Maybe you can still sign in. Maybe you can still sign up or something like that. I don't know, but this is what's happening to me. And it makes sense that they wouldn't allow you to sign up with new accounts because it's shutting down soon. So uh, I really do feel like this is a real thing, but I'm also extremely skeptical i do feel like on you know april 15th they're gonna come out and be like haha april fools we we got you guys we, we tricked you we're not actually shutting down ha 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 stuff like that so uh, i'm still skeptical until april 15th and until the day comes that it's actually shut down i'm gonna be skeptical of this but it seems like Durgentown is indeed being shut down and again for me personally and for a lot of people this is good news because of this announcement here and what Durgentown has done in its past it's almost fitting that it does get shut down it's um, sad in a way because it seems like you know they're they're going through a lot in their lives right now you know you know, having to pay bills and medical bills and stuff like that and and families to look after and stuff like that so it seems kind of bad in that regard but it's also you know good because now they can actually spend time and, and effort and energy into things that are actually going to make them money for their medical requirements and stuff like that because if you don't know Durgentown was not legally able to make any money whatsoever like they were forbidden from making any money because it was using Ponytown's assets Pony Town's code, all this stuff from Ponytown, as well as other places, I imagine, and stuff like that. And granted, they had a lot of unique things to it. And I believe they had a combat system and all kinds of things like um, clans and uh, special co cosmetics and patterns and all kinds of things like this. But 
Ashes Town has those things. Luminous Kingdom has those things. All these other custom servers, like even Mystical Meadows, they all have these you know special things that make them unique and all these things that you would want to, to have in a, in a custom server, but they're still subject to that same code base, that same um, you know materials and stuff like that from Ponytown, so they can't legally make money off of it either. However, places like Ashes Town and, and uh, Luminous Kingdom, Mystical Meadows, Sleepy Town, they actually have a deal with Ponytown uh, so that they can have a, pa a Patreon so if you go into Ashes Town right now, let me let me load that up real quick. Let's go to Ashes Town. You'll see that it has a Patreon, um, and that is not like an illegal thing or anything like that. Ashes Town has a deal with Ponytown where a portion of the cost, the portion of the the, the money that Ashes Town makes with their Patreon. Ponytown gets. So even though Ashestown has this little Patreon thing, they're still not doing anything illegal because they have reached an agreement with Ashestown. They've reached an agreement with Luminous Kingdom, Mystical Meadows, Sleepy Town, those kinds of custom servers. And that's why they are allowed to have a Patreon supporter, but you see something like Fantasy Town or um, Japan Town or whatever that one was called. I don't remember what it was called, but other towns like that uh, that don't have a Patreon is because it's technically illegal for illegal for them to do that uh, without having this special deal, the spe special permissions from Ponytown itself. So uh, Durgantown actually tried to, to get away with doing their own Patreon thing and their own like little monetary schemes, but they got shut down for doing that every single time because it is technically illegal. They're using works from other people to, to make money and make profit. So uh, yeah. That's another thing that the Town has done and stuff like that. But overall, even though they had all these things, and even though if you go to Ashes Town right now and and go to you know their their, their change log, go to their change log, you can see that they have added all kinds of things. They've added pants with pockets. They've added they have a cap system. They have an inventory system. There's so many things about Ashes Town that make it almost its own unique game. But it's still subject to that code base. It's still subject to that you know all that you know time and work that other people have put in, which means they're still kind of limited and restricted here. Maybe someday places like Ashes Town, Luminous Kingdom, Mystical Meadows, uh, Sleepy Town, maybe one day they will somehow figure out something that makes them 100%, you know, their own thing. And that, that will allow them to sort of break free from that little restriction and stuff like that. But until then, they're subject to the same rule where they have to split any profits they make and uh, they're not allowed to, you know, go anything beyond that. So uh, that's that's pretty much the news I had here for you today. It seems like Durgantown is being shut down. It's kind of exciting exciting in a way, but it is very interesting regardless. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found something of use out of this video. And if you guys hear word that this was an April Fool's prank, let me know in the comments below and please provide proof that it was some kind of April Fool's thing. Don't just say, oh, it was an April Fool's joke because I want to see like actual proof of this because I haven't seen, I haven't even seen anyone claim it was yet. Everyone has just been kind of saying, yes, this is 100% true. I haven't seen anyone be like, no, that's not true because of this, this, that, or whatever like that. And this news came out to me personally on April 2nd, not April Fool's Day. So it's still possible that it was an April Fool's joke, but who knows. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please do like, subscribe, share, do all those wonderful things like that. Because when you do those wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.